Praise God, praise God, praise God, family. Dr. Baysmore here again on August the 2nd. Praise the Lord. And I have another word for you. I believe that this word will be with you for the week to give you what you need to be in the good and perfect divine sovereign will of our Heavenly Father in Christ Jesus. I want to share uh, two of my favorite verses. And the first one I want to share with you is very familiar, of course, both of them are. Uh, they're very much related and the Holy Spirit will knit uh, these verses of scripture together and give you more truth as it relates to your situation and what the Lord God is doing for you and through you in this season. And it speaks of the safety of abiding in the presence of God. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And so the Lord God is reminding us of the necessity of trusting him in this season. As we've just entered into the month of August and we're in the first few days of August, uh, the Lord is preparing us to transition into a new season. And so the second verse that I want to share with you, but whoever listens to me will dwell safely and will be secure without fear of evil. That's Proverbs 1, 33. Proverbs 1, verse 33. And so Psalm 91, 1 and Proverbs 1, 33 speak to what God is doing for us. As you have listened to the message from last week, You'll be reminded that the Lord spoke as it relates to what he created, a plant known as the cactus plant. And we know that when we think of a cactus plant, we think about endurance. We think about strength. Uh, we know that the cactus plant is able to adapt uh, to new environments and situations and that the cactus can survive for many years between rain by living off of the water that it stores. And so in this season, you are being reminded that you have more strength than you know in Christ Jesus. In other words, you are stronger than you think you are in Christ Jesus. And so when you put your trust and you dwell in the secret place and you seek the wisdom of the Lord, the word says that whoever listens to him will dwell safely and be secure without fear of evil. And so when we realize that what we need, we already have, it already exists in the spirit realm. It is our faith that causes it to manifest in the earth realm, in the natural realm. Whatever you need, whatever we need already exists. Our God supplies all of our need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. It already exists in the spirit realm. It is our faith that causes it to manifest in the earth realm, the natural realm. That's why uh, in Hebrews chapter 11, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of the things which are not seen. Remember that the things that we cannot see are more real than the things that we can see. Paul put it this way in the book of Corinthians that the things that we see are temporal. They are temporary. It is the things that we cannot see that are eternal. 
And so when we think of the month of August, and we're just using August, we know that God is outside of time and he's, and, and, and he's outside of seasons. We're in the earth realm. And so uh, we live by cycles and patterns and seasons. And when I am speaking, even though I'm speaking and using terminology uh, that relates to time, I'm really speaking as it relates to the spirit realm. In the spirit realm, it's always now. And so now in this season that we know to be uh, the end of uh, summer and we're moving into transitioning into fall soon, we are in this time of healing, uh, profound healing, healing of the spirit, healing of the soul, healing of the body. It's also a season, once again, August, the eighth month, it's also a season of new beginnings, of completions. Remember, sometimes things have to end in order for you to experience the new things that God has for you. That's why you don't want to stay stuck in the past. That's why you want to always be moving in the rhythm and the pattern of Holy Spirit. You always want to be able to sense the rhythm of heaven so that you're not stuck in the past, that you're always in step with the Holy Spirit. The steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord. And so in this season that we're in, it's a season of profound healing of the spirit, the soul, the body. There's uh, the, the completion of cycles and patterns and rhythms so that you are ready for new beginnings. It's a time of preparation as the Lord has been sharing through me, preparing for that which is to come, understanding that what is to come is far better than what you have. Remember that your latter shall be greater when you are obedient to the things of the Lord. This is also a season when you're going to be receiving even more dreams. It's a season of enlightenment. It's a season of wisdom. When I read verse uh, 33 in the first chapter of Proverbs, remember these passages of scripture speak to the beginning of knowledge. They speak to the call of wisdom. We're in a season of enlightenment. There's a season that you're going it through where you're going to receive even more divine knowledge and understanding and wisdom, even as we're being taught God's ways. And so God wants us to dwell in the secret place. We need to have a place where we come before the Lord, where we surrender our own personal will to his good and perfect divine sovereign will. You need to pray commune with God, fellowship with God, allow the Holy Spirit to speak truth to you that you hear it clearly and accurately. This is a season of new beginnings. I want you to be encouraged that it is getting better. It gets better in the kingdom of God. Don't Put your trust in what's going on in the world. Don't take your focus off of the truths and the uh, blessings of God. Know that God is still on his throne. And in the end, you will see that God has always had the victory. Be encouraged, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Like the cactus, you can adapt to new environments and situations. Like the cactus, you are strong and you know that you have strength in Christ Jesus. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So be encouraged. Past, stock, uh, I'm, I'm losing uh, the words, store up, <clears throat> thank you, Jesus, store up the word of the Lord so that you have a word in season. Whenever you need it, the Holy Spirit will bring it to your remembrance. We love you in the Lord. You stay blessed. Have a blessed week. And until the Lord brings me back to you again, Jesus Christ is Lord.